Hello everyone, I wish you a great day. My name is Sayed Ali Husseini. And, and this paper is about using a true learning based bulk tolerant controller to enhance the performance of a closed loop system in the presence of various types of faults. Also, this paper is, is a part of my master thesis, and my supervisor was Professor Salah Shul. Before beginning, I should say sorry that I couldn't be there with you in a quite beautiful city, Sydney, Australia. First, let's have an outline of my presentation. In the first part of my presentation, I talk about the background of issues that will be said in the follow. After that, objectives will be given, and next I will give some information about our proposed method. In the next step, experimental results and case study will be given, and finally, I'll talk about the conclusion and future work. Have a look. Okay. The first and foremost issue is fault. The fault is an unpermitted deviation of at least one characteristic property or parameter of the system from the nominal condition. It means that after occurring fault in our closed loop, the performance of the system will decrease. Then it's a really bad problem, especially for safety critical systems such as power systems, autonomous transportation, or chemical system processing with hazardous materials, where a small component fail, fault or failure may cause catastrophic effects. To avoid production deteriorations and enhance system reliability, measures must be taken to stop the propagation of faults and restore the systems as much as possible to, test, to satisfy performance when the fault occurs. We should know that faults are completely different from noise and disturbance because fault usually has inner sources, as you can see in the figure situated at the bottom of the slide here. Fault can affect actuator, plant, and sensor in our closed loop. Also, we have three kinds of faults, which are time abrupt, time recipient, and time intermittent. Have a look. Okay, here I am going to talk about one powerful and novel method to prevent simple fault to develop into server failure. Fault tolerance control, or FTC, is a synonym for a set of recent techniques developed to increase plant availability and reduce the risk of safety hazard. The simple definition of fault tolerance control was told by Professor McGregor in 2012. He said that when stability and closed loop performance are maintained despite faults, the system is said to be fault tolerant and the control stem that ensure the, ensures the fault tolerant is the fault tolerant controller. Generally, fault tolerant control was divided into two groups, passive and active. In passive controller design, controller are only able to process faults that considered during the controller design stage. Unlike passive fault torrent control, active fault, fault torrent control system resent actively to system fault by control action reconfiguration. In addition, in this type, the main issue is choosing a powerful controller. Also, it's obvious that the Second type of fault tolerant controls is quite better than the first one, as it's likely to prevent against unpredicted faults. Have a look.
Okay, in the last slide of the background part, I'm going to talk about the reinforcement learning algorithm. The first idea of this uh, algorithm is that we learn by interaction with our environment. Reinforcement learning algorithm is consists of five concepts, policy, agent, reward, action, and state. Policy said to what to do, what should do in the next state, and agent uh, is our controller that uh, choose the optimal action in every situation. And reward is the value of any action in any situation, and action and start state are obvious. As could be found in the middle of this slide, this algorithm has an agent or controller that frequently receive reward and state from the environment or system to choose an action according to them. The two, the two most popular algorithms of reinforcement learning are SARSA and Q-learning algorithm that I briefly give some information about them. Okay. SARSA is abbreviation of state, action, reward, state, and action, which are the sequence of a loop in this algorithm. This is an only, this is an on uh, policy algorithm that follow only one policy called target policy during its operation. By contrast, Q-learning is an off-policy algorithm that follows two policy in its operation. This algorithm uh, evaluates or improve a policy totally different from, the, from that one to generate the action. The policy being learned uh, concerning name target policy and the policy used to product behavior name behavior policy. Okay, have a look. Okay. Here, I'm going to have a quick wrap up of uh, what I said to say our objectives of this paper. First, I talk about uh, fault and its, its uh, consequences in a vital system. And I said that we should have a powerful method in our closed loop system to satisfy performance when a fault occurs. Additionally, in most fields of industry, direct or timely human supervision may not always be possible. So, according to these two reasons, we need a powerful method to improve the performance of critical systems. We use the fault term control strategy for this purpose. In reality, we have a stochastic environment and we are unaware of types of faults and fault happening time, or I can say we face unpredicted faults. Thus, we should use uh, active fault tolerance control to enhance the system's ability to prevent against uh, various types of faults. I said that in active fault tolerance control, the most important issue is that we choose an efficient, efficient and powerful controller. In this paper, uh, we select a reinforcement learning uh, algorithm-based controller as uh, it's a learning-based control and our system can improve itself during its operation. Also, uh, also, it's an online algorithm that could be used in real-time systems. In addition, the main advantage of this algorithm is that it has the ability to take optimal action in trouble situations. And the last one is that we decided to test our algorithm in different fault scenarios to show its ability in various trouble situations. 
Also, we compare each results with PID controller, which is quite common uh, as the main controller in many fields of industry, especially in third world countries. I will look. Now I want to talk about the reinforcement learning based factor control. As shown in this uh, slide, we use a block diagram to calculate the state and reward by knowing the real output and our set point. In this paper, the state was calculated according to the difference between the output and the set point. Also, uh, reward is contributed to the current state as you could be found, it could be found. As you can see, uh, we divided our uh, horizon to three horizon, uh, safe horizon, dangerous horizon, and failure horizon. After that, the reinforcement learning based controller chooses the best action in every state to enhance the performance of the system in different situations. In this paper, the Q-learning algorithm was used as our learning algorithm to improve the decision-making ability of the system according to previous state and actions. Additionally, the epsilon QED policy was used in our reinforcement learning algorithm. Have a look. Okay, uh, I'm gonna like to talk about uh, in our case study. CSTH or continuous street tank uh, heater is commonly used as a subsystem in heavy industrial process. A CSTH process is depicted above this slide. As you can see, this system has four inputs and four outputs. The follow rate of the tank inlet was used to adjust the tank temperature in our closed loop. We are interested in uh, using a linear model of CSTH in Python to be used in our closed loop system. The total mass and energy balance uh, questions, uh, equation, excuse me, for this process could be found in our paper. Have a look. Okay, now I want to talk about experimental results. The reinforcement learning based fault tolerance controller was evaluated with the presence of three fault scenarios, which we'll discuss in this step. Moreover, we run the program for 100 loops and results will present. In the first scenario, a time incipient fault with an amplitude of five and a slope of, of 0 0.01 was added to the closed loop. The result is shown and the total MSE or mean square error was written on the first row of the given table. As you see, the performance of the system was evaluated with two controllers, conventional PID controller and two learning based fault tolerance control strategy. In the presence of uh, the sensor fault. According to the figure and table, the performance of our closed loop system with the proposed method is quite efficient than another controller. Have a look. Okay. In the second scenario, a constant fault with an amplitude of 0.4 was added to the actuator, and then the result was picked in the figure, and the total MSE or mean square error could be found in the second row of the given table. 
As shown in the figure and table, the Q-Learning controller perform, performed flawlessly and the output remained at the optimal point. Have a look. Finally, in the third scenario, a constant actuator false bit and amplitude of 0 0.1 and the time recipient sensor falls with an amplitude of 4 and a slope of 0 0.01 was added to the closed loop system. The figure shows the performance of the closed loop with conventional PID controller and closed loop system with true learning based part tolerance control. Also, the total MSE is shown in the third row of the table. The results show that uh, the Q learning controller could find optimal action to stable the closed loop system as well as possible, and its performance is much better than the PID controller. Have a look. Okay. Well, in conclusion, a Q-learning algorithm with a epsilon greedy policy is used in the factor control strategy. The result is a data-driven online method, which uh, directs to the goal or set point or optimal set point without knowing any system dynamic characteristics that are difficult to understand at the beginning when, at the beginning when a fault occurs. A CSDH process was used to test the control systems. The comparison results showed that Q-learning algorithm-based fault-term control strategy presents an efficient method to stabilize the CSDH performance when sensor and actuator faults occur in a closed-loop system. In addition, we compare its performance with conventional PID controller and the superiority of the proposed method was shown in the results section. In this paper, we use the Epsilon greedy policy for the Q-learning algorithm. For future work, it would be interesting to search for another policy to obtain more efficiency, more efficiency and get a better result with respect to reinforcement learning based factor control. Finally, I'm researching for a PhD position to continue my research and implement this powerful strategy in a real closed loop system. Well, if you have, uh, you want to have a contact with me, you can email, send an email to me. My email is sayed.husseini at sign afb.put.ac.ar and you can call me. Okay, thanks for your attention.